Kirizisa. There. Oh, I can't wait to show the princesses. Princesses, guess what I just invented? Oh, what is it? <laughs> I just made myself a... Behold, my newest invention, the cloning machine. But hey, that's my... Wow, that's so cool. Whoa, awesome. I can't believe it. <gasps> Where did you get the idea, Malice? Well, I just thought one of me is great, so several me's would be really great. So, Malice, why don't you show us how it works? Oh, uh, sure. So you just do this and press that and then... There's laundry to do. Yes, Malice, right away. Wow, Malice, you're a genius. Whoa. I wonder if we could clone chocolate. <laughs> hey, down in front. Malice, how could you? You stole my invention. I didn't do anything of the sort. I've got to find a way to prove that it was my invention. Aha! Princesses, I built the cloning machine, not Malice. Sure you did, Liliana. That's why there's a lot of Malice clones and no Liliana clones. I thought you might say that. This will take us back in time, so you can see for yourself that Malice stole it. All right, let's go. Yeah. But why not just stay here and have fun? See? She stole my invention. Another malice? Wow, I didn't even turn it on yet. Malice, I think as punishment you should do my washing up for a week. Ugh, fine. I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> Liliana, please. No, just... Oh, come on! No, it was meant to turn it into a delicious apple pie. Apple pie, you say? Liliana! At your service. Liliana, we really need your help. I tried to use my wand to turn the apple into a pie, but it completely malfunctioned. Puh, you don't need magic to make apple pie. I do. Nonsense. Wait here. I'm going to build you a machine that will make the best apple pie you've ever tasted. Right. Well, Esme, that means it's down to us to get to the bottom of this. Well, it's a pretty big apple, Olivia, but I'll do my best. Not the apple, Esme. We've got to get to the bottom of why my magic isn't working. Right, of course. Whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, Esme, to the palace. There's got to be something in here. 
Let's see. The origin of chocolate fountains? No. Cheese string theory? No. The Malice Palace paradigm? No. Hang on, Olivia. Look at this. What to do if your magic wand stops working? This is perfect. To get your wand's magical powers back, you must pay a visit to Mr. Zuza. Who's Mr. Zuza? The source of all the magic in Kitty Zuza land, apparently. Who lives at the top of Mount Zuza? Mount Zuza? How do we get there? First, you must cross the Great Zuzan Gorge. Oh. That was easy. Next, you must climb to the top of the mighty Zuzan Oak. Appreciate the view and then climb back down again. Wait, what? Ooh, that is actually pretty spectacular. Hey, look, there's Liana. Right, one apple pie machine coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Next, simply follow the signs to Mount Zuza. This way. Oh, do we have to? I had a really big lunch. Come on, Esme, it won't take us long. <sighs> OK, this better be worth it. Esme, look! Mr. Mr. Zuza! Correct, it is I, Mr. Zuza, the source of all the magic in Kitty Zuza land. Mr. Zuza, thank goodness we found you. I really need your help. My magic wand has stopped working. Say no more, Olivia, say no more. Aren't you going to fix my wand? No, I just wanted you to stop talking. Oh. Goodbye. You mean we came all the way up here for nothing? Hang on. Yes. W wait, what are you doing? G get away from there. Isabella. Wait, this isn't Isabella, it's a robot. Hang on. Liliana. Liliana, how could you? Wait, hang on. This is a robot as well. Right, I think this is the last one. Timothy. This one's definitely not a robot. I think someone's led us on a wild goose chase. Mwahaha! Those princesses are so gullible. Whilst they're away looking for Mr. Zuza, I've got all the time in the world to lay some of my new traps around the stinky old palace. Let's see. Prank number one in the Malice Palace paradigm. What on earth is... Uh-oh. And done. Just need an apple to test it with now. Huh? going on here? Ah, Olivia, just in time. One delicious apple pie. Ah! You know what? I'm actually not hungry. Speak for yourself. You're not going to get splashed by the fountain, you know. You can never be too careful, Olivia. Chocolate stains, you know. Honestly, I've sunbathed here a million times and I've never been splashed by the chocolate fountain. It just doesn't happen. You were saying... What did that? Ah! It's gone into the forest. What was that thing? I have no idea, but I know someone who will. Oh, do we have to? If there's some weird forest creature coming into the palace gardens, Isabella, I want to know what it is. Now, come on. Oh, fine. But if I get mucky, I'm sending you the dry cleaning bill. Come on, Isabella. Ew, so gross. Esme! 
Esme! Ah, oh, Esme! It wasn't me, what, huh? Oh, hey guys, what brings you here? We need your help. How much do you know about the animals of the forest? Oh, I think I can help. Did it look like this? What is that? Zoos and stink bats. They're pretty cool. Ugh. I don't think it was one of them. It wasn't flying, it was bouncing. Hmm. A fladonk? Hmm. Then was it Will at the Sloth? No. Guys. There's nothing else it could be? Guys. Not that I know of. Guys. <gasps> That's it. Quick, grab it. Oh, come on, let's get after it. What are those for? You'll see. Right, the thing went this way. It has to be round here somewhere. OK, let's fit up and find it. One day they're ready, princesses. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> Oops, just my shadow. for a break, I think. <gasps> Hello, you. You cute little thing. <laughs> you like raspberries. Ah! Esme, <laughs> you find anything? <laughs> no, you? Nothing. Have you seen Isabella? <laughs> Isabella? That's it! Esme, you scared it off! Quickly, princesses, after it! Ooh. A break, at last! Where did it go? Hey, is that a door in the rock? Quick! Let's see if we can get it open. Uh, 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 okay. Where are we? <gasps> Who's that? Malice? Where? Wait, Liliana? Oh, <laughs> hey princesses, welcome to my new lab. Oh, there you are. I see you've met one of my Fragabits. Fragabits? Those aren't real. They are now, thanks to my Creature Creator 3000. Simply place one animal on one end and another one on the other and boom, you have a completely <gasps> new animal. <sighs> and before you ask, Esme, we can't try it on you. <clears throat> it's early days, you see. There are still a few glitches. Liliana, what kind of glitches? Oh, it just makes a few more versions of the creature than you want. A few more? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about them. They'll be fine as long as you close the door on the way in. Again? Ugh! Mr. Snuggles? Who put this here? This isn't funny anymore, whoever keeps doing this. <whistles> Tell me again why we're going for a nighttime walk in the woods. Because it's fun? It's not, it's scary. Ah! See? Oh, it's just Mr. Snuggles, Olivia. Well, I'm sorry, but even teddy bears falling from the sky is scary. Where did he come from? Malice. Malice. Looks like she's just gone to sleep. 
Come on! What do you mean, come on? Malice is asleep. Have you ever been in her tower? No, and I've never planned to. Oh, well, I'm not going. I'm just going to stay here, alone. In the woods, the scary, dark woods. Esme, wait up! Oh, Esme, what have you done? This place is a tip. It was already like this, and shh! What a mess! This place is disgusting! This is weird! Our school yearbook! Our class as well! Hmm, I remember that girl. Alice! Alice something! Why would Malice have circled Alice in our yearbook? I don't know, unless... <gasps> Malice is Alice! Hey, when did we learn to communicate telepathically? We didn't. So we're just talking out loud in silly voices. Oh, let's hope we didn't wait. Malice? We should run. Quickly, before she knows our plan. You do realise you guys are speaking out loud, right? We did it again. Run! So you're saying Malice used to be our classmate Alice and then she turned evil? Yes! But what turned her evil? Maybe it was something we did. Can I have a go? I don't know, Alice. It's Mr Snuggle's turn next. Two seconds, Esme. I'm coming up. Oh, I wouldn't. This branch might not take the weight of the three of us. The three of us? Yeah. Me and Mr Snuggles are already up here. You princesses. So that means we can talk to each other whenever we want. Mr Snuggles, Mr Snuggles, do you copy? Repeat, this is Olivia to Snuggles. OK. Maybe I wasn't that kind either. It's all our fault. We didn't share our things with Alice and that turned her evil. She became malice because of us. Oh no, what are we going to do? Princesses, it's simple. We'll go round there and apologise. didn't turn evil because we didn't share our things with her. She turned evil because we didn't share Mr Snuggles with her. <laughs> you think I turned evil because of you, princesses, and some stupid teddy bear? Exactly. Ha! I turned evil because my whole family was evil. It's in my blood. But you were cuddling Mr Snuggles. An experiment to see what it felt like. Oh, and it felt awful. Anyway, you princesses are trespassing on evil property. Do I need to use my teddy cannon again? Yeah, yeah I, I think it's time. I think. Lots to do. I'm sorry, Mr Snuggles. Let's keep this between us, yeah? 